Good morning. And thank you all for coming out this morning to join us. We're here to talk about the recent set of events uh, that occurred over the past 72 hours here with the city of Gary. Uh, actually, within a 24 hour period, the city saw a rash of shootings across the area that ended with four people killed. The victims were two juveniles, one adult male and one adult female. There were also other non-fatal shootings that occurred in the city. First, I want to extend my heartfelt condolences on behalf of the entire city, its elected officials, and, and certainly every resident in the city. I want to say that this is not Gary, and this certainly is not who we are. Even before I took office, I promised that public safety would be our first priority. And to that extent, we're working on a number of initiatives that prove that um, policing still works here within the city. But I think there are a couple points I wanna make clear. One is, is that these were not drug or gang related. And secondly, uh, from our perspective, they certainly aren't or weren't random acts of violence. I think that's important to note uh, because as we live here and as residents of the city, we do everything in our efforts to make sure that it's a safe city. And uh, understanding that safe is a matter of perspective when you consider that these incidents were in many ways uh, somewhat isolated, we still believe that we're headed in the right direction and uh, to address these specific incidents, we certainly continue to advance the programs that we have uh, to not only address our residents, but specifically our youth, such as the Thrive Program. It's a youth violence intervention program where we do interact directly with all of the youth in the city and specifically those who find themselves uh, related to or victims of uh, specific unfortunate incidents. Our executive director of that program, Joy Holiday, works every day. And uh, even in this instance, she actually made contact, her and Chief Evans, direct contact with the uh, parents and with the family of both of those incidences. And so, um, again, I want to reiterate that although these are certainly unfortunate incidences, they certainly are a reminder of why public safety is our top priority 